everyone. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to swab your cheeks for a DNA test, and the particular kit I'm using in this instance is the Geno2 kit from National Genographic. And if you open the kit, which you can apply for online and they send it to you on the post, you have a nice little booklet, a set of instructions, which I'll show you how to use, the actual cheek swabs themselves, and a plastic bag for putting them in. And then below that, an envelope with the address of the lab on it so that you can send it off to the lab and it will take about six to eight weeks for processing. The instructions are very very simple and easy to follow and it really is just a three-step process. Let's do that first step first which is to take uh, the cheek swabs, and here they are here, this is what it looks like, there's a cotton bit at the top and then there's a, 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 a stick that uh, it is attached to. Now you shouldn't eat or drink for an hour before doing the swab because you don't want to contaminate the sample with food. And the way to open the sample is very carefully. You'll find that there's a little plastic lip here. If you get your fingers around that and then take the other one on the other side and then just gently pull them apart you will reveal the top of the swab itself. Now you'll notice that I'm not actually trying my best not to touch the swab and I'm certainly not touching the cotton tip at the end because that will cause contamination. Um, then we take the swab out of the actual package itself and there you see it there and we keep it away from touching anything else other than the inside of our cheeks. The next step then is to swab your cheek for approximately 45 to 60 seconds. So in order to do that, I have my timer here beside me and I'm going to set that for one minute and then we're off. So that's that my cheek swabbed, now I need to transfer the swab into the bottles provided. So here's the vial and here's the cheek swab. Now what we're going to do is gently open this vial, which means a little bit of maneuvering. If you wanted to you could do this beforehand, but again being careful not to touch the vial to contaminate it in any way. And then what I'm going to do is put the top of the swab in the vial and just let it stand there so that I've got my other hand free to push the top of the uh, swab down into the actual vial itself. And to do that I grab it like this and I push gently but firmly on the top until the top of the swab has actually gone inside the vial. And let me just maneuver this so that you can see it. It's difficult to see, but it is inside there. And then put the top of the tube, screw it back on, like that, and make sure it's tight so that it doesn't spill. So that all looks okay. And then I'm just going to invert it up and down a few times. And you can probably just see top of the swab inside. Yeah, there we go, it's inside. Very good. Okay, so that's the first vial, and now we just repeat the same process with the second one. The second swab is for backup purposes, just in case there isn't enough DNA in the first swab. And this time I'm going to take my little test tube and I'm going to open it in anticipation. Just loosen it and I'm going to just leave it down close to where I will be operating. And there we go. The 
So we take the plastic bag, take the two tubes, put them inside the bag. It's as simple as that. That is then ziplocked. We then take the envelope that is going to be sent back to the lab and we simply pop the two test tubes into, into the envelope. With other kits you will also have a consent form so you need to complete that and uh, tick it and if necessary sign it. Uh, so I will do that and then place the consent form in the envelope. And after that, uh, all I need to do is put a postage stamp on the envelope. And the best way of doing that is just to go down to the post office and see what kind of postage is required. In order to track the progress of the sample, I can put in the kit number. And the kit number is up here in the uh, corner of the uh, instructions and I just have to go online to uh, www.genographic.com uh, put in my uh, registration number and I will be able to see exactly where my kit is in the process. It takes about six to eight weeks for the kit to be analyzed and thereafter you will receive an email with uh, details of how to access your results and then you can just go on to the website and see your results uh, on, on the website. So it's, it's really quite a simple process and that's it really.